Okay, so what if you take a beloved TV show from the 80s and you make it into a movie in the 2000s? <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Rewind, Relive, and Review. I'm Rick, and this is the show where we talk about movies, TV shows, and music. And today, I want to talk about a movie that used to be a TV show. We're going to talk about Miami Vice. Now, this isn't the Don Johnson, uh, Philip Michael Thomas TV show from the 80s, but this is the remake slash reboot movie that came out starring Colin Farrow and Jamie Foxx. This is an underrated gem. I love this movie. Let me tell you about it. Okay, so Miami Vice uh, is a 2006 movie written and directed by Michael Mann, and it is based on that 1980s TV action drama of the same name. Uh, with a lot of differences though. This movie is more modern, more gritty, as far as all the updates. For its grittiness, that's one of the things that I really loved about it. This movie has a runtime of two hours and 19 minutes if you watch the uh, unrated director's cut which uh, is my Blu-ray here. It stars Colin Farrow as Sonny Crockett, Jamie Foxx as Ricardo Tubbs, Gong Lee as Isabella, Naomi Harris as Trudy, John Ortiz as Jose Hierro, Elizabeth Rodriguez as Gina, and Luis Tosar as Montoya. Okay, fun fact number one. Michael Mann had his actors actually train with real life undercover law enforcement officers, adding more to that realism. Fun fact number two. The movie was filmed in Miami during the hurricane season. Production lost about seven days of filming total due to hurricanes Katrina, Rita, and Wilma. Fun fact number three, Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, and Matthew McConaughey were all in the running for Detective Crockett, while Will Smith, Denzel Washington, and Samuel L. Jackson were likely to be tubs. All right, now for this movie's box office, it was budgeted at $135 million and the gross was 164 million. And while that sounds like a profit, that actually uh, hurt the studio. And I'll go over that in uh, a little bit because a lot of people were down on this movie. I don't know why. If you watch it for what it is, it is a great movie. But I guess there's a lot of people that were just fixated on that old TV show and they just didn't get it. Forget about the 80s nostalgia. This is what real undercover operations are like. Okay, as far as the film's plot, Crockett and Tubbs go undercover to bring down a ruthless drug kingpin, the Archangel de Jesus Montoya, and the Aryan Brotherhood that the cartel interacts with. Crockett uses Montoya's financial advisor in order to gather evidence, but he ends up in a secret relationship with her, complicating the undercover op. Now, when the Brotherhood capture Trudy, who is also Tubbs's girlfriend, as a power move for leverage for the drug load, Tubbs and Crockett must rescue her before it becomes too late. Meanwhile, Jose Hierro who is Montoya's right-hand man, discovers Crockett's romance with Isabella, and he brings this information of her betrayal to his boss. This culminates with a tense meeting 
and an earth-shattering climactic police versus the drug dealers firefight. And it is one of the realest shootout scenes that I've seen in any movie to date. All right, this movie was released on Blu-ray and HD. And as far as the sound, it's DTS, HD audio, DTS surround, and Dolby Digital 5.1. The picture on the Blu-ray is 1080p. It's in 2.4 to 1 aspect ratio, widescreen. That's because this movie is partially digital and partially 35 millimeter. It was shot with super 35 millimeter and 1080 HD cameras. And they've also done 2K format mastering. Now special features include picture in picture info, tech specs, cast bios, production photos, and five featurettes. Now for whatever reason, a lot of people didn't quite get this movie. I don't know if they were expecting pastel suits and alligators on boats like the TV show, but this movie was more real than you could have ever done in the 80s on network television. And believe me, Miami Vice in the 80s was gritty and outstanding for its time in the 80s, but I respect man's decision to go with a updated, more realistic approach in the film. It worked just so much better. All right, so let's score it. All right, for packaging, it's just your basic uh, Blu-ray packaging, one disc. Uh, it's got some special features, like I said, but nothing major in the packaging. I'm gonna give it a three. For content, I am gonna give it a 3.25 because it does have uh, those extra features, but uh, nothing over overblown or <clears throat> any things that would just blow you away. Now for sound, for sound, I am going to give it a 3.5 because it does have wonderful HD sound. It isn't uh, like Dolby Atmos like you would find on a 4K, so it's not going to get a 3.75 or, or a 4, but it's close to it, and I will give it a 3.5. So that makes the overall score 3.25 for this movie, and that's not bad for something that came out in 2006. You have to really respect that. And if you just glossed over this movie, you need to take another look at this movie and look at it with open, realistic eyes. This is not, again, the 80s TV show. This is down to earth and this is gritty. And this is what undercover work is all about. I implore you watch Miami Vice again. It's powerful, especially from the uh, closing gunfight to the very last uh, scene before the credits roll. That's one of the things I really like and has really stuck with me about this movie. Okay, so now you see why I like Miami Vice so much. And I hope that if you haven't had a chance to watch it, stream it somewhere or pick it up, take a look at it, tell me what you think. If you have seen it, tell me what you think. And also, be sure and check out all our other videos. We got plenty of movies and TV shows. Comment, let me know what you like. Let me know what you wanna see in the future. Always like this video, share, subscribe. That way you don't miss anything. And I will be back with more soon. Stay positive, stay blessed. I'll see you again.